As a student who has little money, traveling can be challenging. In Japan, traveling is expensive, but it can be not that expensive. And in this video, I'll show you how I save money on accommodation while traveling like I'm rich, but in fact, I'm just like any other college student, broke. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, it means a lot to me, and watch till the end. If you refuse to pay the price of a hotel, budget hotel, Airbnb, or a capsule hotel, you got two choices. Karaoke room or manga cafe and today we're going to talk about manga cafe Manga cafe aka internet cafe can be found in most cities across Japan Open 24 hours typically offers only two types of seats open seats and private booths Open seats are like getting a place at the library while private booths have partition for more privacy Speaking from personal experience, you can still hear people snoring at night but newer manga cafe gives you even more privacy. A soundproof room all to yourself with keys. And to all the female solo travelers out there, some places even have women only section. For my reservation this time, I got a padded mat instead of a reclining chair. There's a computer, free Wi Fi that usually comes with steamy, juicy, dirty content, and a box of tissue for people who want a private me time, and some blankets. There's a menu where you can order some food or snack on the computer. While many manga cafes charge you to use the shower, normally it's like 500 yen for half an hour, but this place, it is totally free. And the towels are free to use as well. A hair dryer free to use. And if you need a toothbrush, you can just buy it for a few hundred yen. Anything else you need, they got you covered. You can also use the washing machine and dryer. You need a gift card for online shopping? Please help yourself. Some snacks, MSG, a pair of scissors, nail clippers, chapstick, earbuds, makeup sponges and brushes, they got you covered. There's also a drink dispenser in the public area where you can drink coffee, tea, soft drink or even soup for free. And in some places, a vending machine for unlimited amount of drinks for free, which is really cool. And of course, you can find mangas in a manga cafe. Mangas are Japanese comics, just in case you don't know, you can borrow them and read them in your room. I personally have had some pleasant experience staying in a manga cafe, especially this one, which comes with free breakfast. I can get the fries and toast all I want, and if someone's gonna sponsor my stay, I'm definitely coming back, no doubt. This is not a sponsored video, but I'll compile a list of recommended places and my personal favourites in the description box below, so be sure to check them out. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you find this video helpful. Before deciding a package or plan, you might be asked to register and be a member for free. Payments are usually made during the checkout. Depending on how many hours you plan to stay, usually it will cost you less than 2,000 yen or not more than 3,000 yen for 7 to 12 hour packages. Finally, if you have any questions or you want to share your own experience, feel free to comment down below. Goodbye or shall I say goodnight and I'll see you in the next one. A dog woke up to a lemonade stand and you say to the man running the stand